dudes and babes, DT here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're here for the first time. Today we're jumping into episode 3 of Pokemon Go and today I'm going to show you a few of the Pokemons that I've caught since the last video and also in the last video I've mentioned my top 5 most wanted Pokemons and guess what? A few days ago I actually was able to catch one of the ones that I wanted the most and the ones that I've shared with you last time. So without further ado, let's jump in and also today we're going to evolve a few of my Pokemon and I'm going to once again mention some of the most commonly made mistakes when evolving your Pokemon. So this is one of the Pokemon that I've caught in a few couple of days. Actually I think this one I got today. It is one and only Mr. Sandshrew and um, to be honest with you I did not even think or dream about catching him. I think he's actually pretty rare. Uh, I've never seen one since I started using Pokemon Go and so I was really quite thrilled to actually get him. Uh, now I have gotten myself a, a few uh, Vulpixes, Vulpixes, uh, a few Vulpix Pokemons in the last couple of days so I'm actually going to be able to uh, power it up and uh, hopefully uh, I'll be able to evolve one of them eventually. Right now the ones that I have have really low combat power so I'm going to try and wait it out and see if another Vulpix is going to come my way with a higher combat power. Now let's get to the juicy part. The one Pokemon that I wanted so, 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 so very badly last time I recorded a video for you guys was of course Eevee and look at that I've got multiple Eevees actually I was in the park right next to my job on a lunch break and I caught my first Eevee and yesterday I caught my second Eevee on the walk back home through that very same park so I kid you not there is like an Eevee lure happening so I'm going to be stopping by there much much more often so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at whether or not it's worth to uh, power up one of my Eevees and then, you know, uh, and then evolve her eventually. But right now, I don't have much Eevee candy, of course, and uh, we need to have that in the first place. So I did mention that I was going to evolve one of my Pokemon right here in front of you. Um, right now, my Pokemon are ordered uh, in the combat power, so in the descending order. And I caught myself a nice Mr. Little Drowsy with 470 combat power uh, a few days ago. Now one of the things that I wanted to tell you is a lot of you have been talking about well I cannot max out my Pokemon anymore. The reason you cannot max out your Pokemon anymore and let me try and show this to you right here is uh, you will be able to max it out only to the point that it, it's allowed uh, based on your level. So right now I can no longer uh, power up my drowsy because I'm only level 16 going on level 17 and I would have to be a higher level so the trainer has to be of a higher level to continue to power up your Pokemon. Now I am actually going to go ahead and evolve this drowsy over here. Uh, 493 combat power is not a whole lot but look at this my next uh, my hypno is only at 451 so and I can no longer evolve it because obviously it's a final stage final form of a uh, drowsy so I'm gonna go ahead and evolve it right here right in front of you I can no longer like I said uh, power it up because I need to be of higher level so let's go ahead and spend that drowsy candy because we have a whole lot of it and let's go ahead and evolve this baby let's see what he's going to let's see what his cp is going to be once he's evolved i am really really quite curious all right come on show us what you got come on okay hypno show us your combat power i will it be more than a thousand Will it be more than a thousand? Oh, a thousand and thirty. That is super awesome right now. That is my strongest Pokemon. A thousand and thirty with 102 hit points. This is my strongest Pokemon just yet, guys. So I am pretty stoked. Uh, I've only won a few gym battles, and so I think I'll be able to have higher chances now that I have a thousand thirty combat power Pokemon with um with a pretty good uh, HP, 102, that's not so bad. Now, of course, the gyms that I'm having better luck winning at are probably level one and level two most of the time, so I just have to continuously try and catch more Pokemon. Now, you also um, do say a lot, I've seen people say a lot, well, I keep catching same Pokemon, I keep catching, you know, one, you know, one kind, and it's just really annoying, but, you know, don't get discouraged because it does help you to, of course, uh, get more XP so you can continue and, um, you know, 
know, and, and increase your level, your trainer level. And of course, it also gives you stardust, which is really, really important because the only reason we were able to power up or evolve our Pokemon is because we both have a candy and of course a stardust. So um, don't get too discouraged by the fact that you're catching exact same Pokemon. Look at how many uh, Sparrows and Hypnos, uh, I mean, and Drowsies and Rotatas um, I have. I have so many of those. I have a ton of uh, Pidgeos, I have a ton of Spearows, I have a ton of uh, Drowsies, I have so many Rotatas, I have a ton of Horsies and uh, Caterpies, so those are the ones that I get a ton of, but I catch them nonetheless because it helps me to then get the candy when I trade them in and of course helps me to get the Stardust and of course helps me to get my XP so I can continue uh, increasing my trainer level. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my Eevee and oh I was actually able to catch a few Magikarps today, so that was really exciting. Now I'm only what like a hundred thousand Magikarps short, so I have 21 Magikarp candy, uh, Magikarp candy right now, and I'm still pretty pretty short on it. So let's take a look at my Eevee. I have at least two. So this one here has a combat power of 130 and 32 hit points. So I am not going to be able to evolve it. Like I said, I don't have enough Eevee candy, uh, but I need to trade one of those in, uh, give it, give her to the trainer. So I just want to make sure that I, you know, I, I uh, give one to the trainer that's the correct one. So what I usually do in that sense, I will just arrange my Pokemon. Uh, and I arrange it by number so the two of them are back to back right next to each other so I'm able to see which one I actually should um, uh, transfer to the trainer. Let's go ahead and transfer the Vulpix to the trainer over here with a lower combat power and then where is my Eevee? Oh, also I've been able to hatch a ton of eggs lately guys and I've been getting a lot of Psyducks in my eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and trade a few of those in, give them to the trainer so I can get me that candy and um, let's just get to the juicy part. This Psyduck over here has over 400 in um, combat power so 447 that's pretty great and I have a few mouths so I should trade that in as well or not trade it in but transfer and give it to the trainer all right let's go ahead and check my Eevee okay I have three Eevees one with 347 uh, CP and obviously that's the one I'm going to keep so let's go ahead and transfer the remaining two Eevees to the trainer and get us some Eevee candy now I am also uh, oh so curious and I really want to evolve my Eevee so badly but before I evolve her of course I have to follow my own logic and something I shared with you a long time ago I have to first power her up to the maximum and then evolve her and that means I need to be catching a ton more Eevees I need at least uh, you know 10 candies to power her up and then of course I need 25 to evolve her so I have quite a journey to go guys quite quite a journey and same goes for Magikarp so this is going to be it for me for today just a really really quick uh video um you know trying to share with you as much info as possible don't be powering up uh you know don't be getting upset about not being able to power up your pokemon you just need to increase your trainer level so you can power him up him or her up uh further and of course don't be evolving your pokemon unless it is powered up to the max at your current level and you're absolutely happy with it um also guys i just got a final email that my gopro is here and going to be i'm going to be unpacking it tomorrow and that means that i'm going to be go pro recording my adventure i'm going to be away in canada for a week on a holiday and let's see what pokemon i will be able to catch in canada i will create a special episode catching pokemon in canada i will see you guys in that episode until then dt is out